course, Spring Hill Suites by Marriott in Washington, Pennsylvania at 16 Trinity Place. Right on Interstate 70, 79. And this is the room. It's a little suite. It's a king suite. It has a sofa bed, which looks very long, but in reality, it's only this part is the sofa. That's just a chair. So uh, I opened it up. It's actually pretty clean. There were a couple of crumbs in it, but pretty clean. The hotel as a whole is a little, uh, it's a little tired. Uh, it's probably should be being um, renovated. It probably would have been renovated a year or so ago, but of course COVID, that doesn't have a burn hole in the, in the things. But we're right on the interstate. You can see that right here. And big parking space. Outside, while it's mowed and uh, it's not, uh, I wouldn't say it's groomed. It's kept somewhat clean, but not super groomed up. So see what the bathroom is like. It has a nice, okay, so it has a simple bathroom space and a separate shower toilet area old style school shower now the uh, shower here you know i love to do my shower thing very good shower very 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 good shower lots of things uh it does not drain real well what do we have in the way of product. We have a, a Vita soap there. What do we have in here? Alice Bus Company Botanicals, very nice. Uh, they have a nice smell to them. But they were a little high and a little hard to get to. Uh, even though I'm almost six foot tall, they were in the back, so they were a little bit hard. But other than that, I think it was fine. The water was very, very hot. I had to turn it way down. And not mold. There's a little tiny bit of darkness back over there. In general, it's pretty clean, which is a good sign. You know, I always look for mold. Um, I thought at first it was odd that there was just one towel stacked up here, but there had been two towels here, so that was okay. The noise from the fan got quieter as it ran. All right, so we have spent our night here. Uh, it was very, very noisy here last night with all the tr truck and car traffic that you see out here going by. So that was one thing that kind of didn't give us the, the, the best night's sleep. So we're paying, uh, I think, all together about 98 bucks a night here. Can't remember what the actual rate was. Uh, we, uh, um, we booked it through our Bonvoy Marriott.com as we always do. There is no uh, closet in here. There is a ironing board and an iron and stuff, and I do not see a safe in here. So there is a refrigerator and a little bar sink over there and a microwave, which is nice. Because remember, this is a suite that, you know, they expect you to spend a few nights here, so. All right, not too bad, but a little tired. Uh, there was no regular uh, coffee, there was just decaf. So that was that I did not go down for breakfast. So the desk area was comfortable, no uh, USB outlets. This is, I said, a little older property. It's considerably an older property. Uh, something I thought was interesting is that there's just one television in here. Many times there are two and one to share between the two rooms, which is fine for one person. But if you've got a family in here and kids want to watch something, though everybody's on their devices today. And speaking of devices, when was the last time you saw the wide input of, let's turn the light on here for you, iHome iPod player, yep, there it is. We've seen this now in a couple of Marriott properties. It's time to move up, time to move into the 21st century. I don't know, but that's like 15 years old. So overall, I would say uh, room was nice. Other than the fact that it was quiet, we are on the south side of the hotel, which is the closest to Interstate 79, uh, 7079. So if you are staying here, you might want to ask to be on the north side of the hotel, which is the higher numbers of the rooms. We were in 302, so you might want to be in one of the teen numbers. I'm sure it's quieter over there. There's lots of shopping here. There is a Walmart and Target and all of that right close on this side, on the north side of 70. And most of the, the mall that was on the south side of 70 looks like it's closed down now. The hallways are long. 
Uh, carpet is a little dirty. Could have been good clean. Could have had a good cleaning. Uh, we're at the south end of the hall. At the north end is where the uh, or where the ice machine is. There's no vending. There's vending downstairs. Nice big elevator. There is only one elevator in this building, so it's not a bank of multiple elevators. So here we are, Spring Hill Suites at Trinity Place in Washington, Pennsylvania. We had a one night stay here. Uh, the hotel is a little tired, a little old, but it's clean, it's good. Um, housekeeping is very good here. Location is great if you want to be anywhere. The downside, of course, is the fact that it's right on Interstate 70, uh, 79 at the intersection of Pennsylvania Route 19, so it's very noisy. We were up there in that room on the third floor, so uh, it was a little noisy here. I think if you were back down over there, it would be a lot quieter. Uh, but location is great. You're right by a bunch of stuff. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and follow us here on YouTube on Queer for Travel. And we'll see you on our next episode. Until then, 